What's going on YouTube? Omar Garza here. I'm sure by now you have heard that Blackmagic Design has released an update for the 4K and 6K cameras, and it is awesome. Uh, if you haven't heard by now, I'll go ahead and put the statistics up on the page, so you can go ahead and check those out. Uh, there's a grip of them, but honestly, I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight a few of those for you right now. Uh, they are on the 4K, which got most of the awesome updates, by the way. <laughs> if you have a 4K, you are looking good right now. Uh, if you have a 6K, there's a couple things in there that are nice, but you, you mostly got skipped. Okay, so in the 4K, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, you can now shoot raw in 4K up to 75 frames a second. That is awesome. But bigger than that, I think this is much cooler, the fact that they upgraded the 120 frames per second from 1080p to now being able to shoot it in 2.6K. That's awesome. Dude, that's one of the biggest things that I enjoyed about the Pocket 6K was the fact that you could shoot 2.8K, 120 frames, as opposed to 1080p, and now you pretty much got it in the Pocket 4K, so that is awesome. Um, let's go ahead and just, I mean, I mean, there's anamorphic, there's a bunch of other stuff there that doesn't really apply to me. I don't have any anamorphic lenses, anything like that. However, we do have the Pocket 6K, so let's go ahead and go through all the amazing things that they got, including myself. You've got a built-in leveling tool. Boom. I know your mind is blown right now, so you got a built-in leveling tool, but hold on, there's more. You can now pinch to zoom in on the rear screen. So if you were jealous about the updates, relax. You got pinch uh, times eight magnification, zoom in there, and you also have the horizontal tool, the horizon tool, sorry, horizontal. Hopefully you can keep horizontal uh, abilities to yourself. So uh, in any case, those are those updates, but this video is actually not to talk about the firmware update 6.6, it's actually to talk about the update that Blackmagic RAW got not too long ago, 1.5.1. Let's get into that. So according to Blackmagic Design, Blackmagic RAW 1.1 no, 1.5.1, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, the main thing that it does here is general performance and stability improvements. So for me, I was having all kinds of issues with glitching out and making the whole screen freeze. Premiere Pro would not respond, which if you've used Premiere Pro, you know that that's not completely uncommon, but it was happening pretty frequently when I was using the Blackmagic RAW plugin. So I'm hoping this update will fix it, and um, let's go ahead and dive into a project and see what it looks like. So this is a video Parker and I actually shot when we were at the Avila Pier. We were trying to just make a really short film, uh, just have a little bit of fun on a weekend, and we shot the whole thing handheld, which is kind of nice, checking that out. So here we go. Uh, there's gonna be some unlinked media, never mind that, <laughs> we'll fix that later. But right now, if we click over to master here and change decode to clip, you're gonna go ahead and see all of the, <clears throat> you're gonna go ahead and see all of the um, options and abilities to edit. One of the things that I noticed right away that was different than before, and maybe it was in a different spot, I don't really remember now that I've updated it, uh, is this apply LUT under highlight recovery. So, I don't remember that being there before, and I'm not sure if it was an option, but it is now, and I absolutely love it. The ability to apply the LUT after the fact and take it, take it off is really great, and the fact that it's just a box. You can just check off that box if you don't like how the LUT looks, and you can do your own color, color grade, or just clicking it on really helps me speed up my workflow. Okay, everything else appears to be pretty much the same, Rec 709, I prefer to keep everything within Blackmagic Design uh, and Blackmagic Design Film for Gamma. So, being that everything looks like it seems to be working, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try to make it crash. Every time I did this last time, it would crash, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a go. I'm gonna go ahead and chop the frame, 
chop this clip into two separate clips. And then I'm going to go ahead and adjust the ISO on them independently. Now, while this wouldn't always make it crash, it would give me instability issues quite often. Sometimes the clip would just drop exposure out of nowhere. Um, sometimes it would just not respond for a while and come back. Other times it would not respond and never come back and force a hard reset of the program, not the computer, thank God. Okay, so I thought I would jump over to the icons to see if anything has been improved kind of on this side of things, but I wanna take this second to, just a second here, to recognize the fact that it is not Blackmagic RAW that controls the appearance of these icons whatsoever. That is actually Blackmagic Player, which is a separate plugin provided by Blackmagic, which is awesome, I like it. Um, that Blackmagic RAW Player 1.4 has been out since August 9th, and it just simply means you can view Blackmagic RAW files outside of Premiere, outside of any other nonlinear editor, whatnot. Um, so there has been no improvements to that, so therefore we have very odd looking icons here. Some of them are bigger, some of them are a little bit more narrow. These are not different ratios. Some of them are. Some of them are. Some of them are shot in 16 by 9 where others are shot in um, the 2.4, 2.39 aspect ratio. But if you take a look here, you're going to go ahead and see that there's enormous gaps on the tops of these icons where there's just a huge blank space, whereas other rows seem to squish down quite nicely. So I don't know why that's happening, but there seems to be still issues within the uh, Blackmagic RAW player that need to be updated. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix this clip, and I think I'm just gonna run through this program and color grade the whole thing try to make it a little bit more saturated and punchy. Oh God, not that much, that's way too much. Um, and I'll see if I run into any issues. If I do, then I will absolutely let you know about it. I'll stop, I'll stop what I'm doing immediately and talk about it. If not, then you know, this might be a really short video. <laughs> should do it. Okay, well, that was um, uneventful in a good way. I feel like the new update, the 1.5.1 uh, Blackmagic RAW update was really awesome. I'm glad they did it. It took them a month, but it was well worth the wait in the fact that I haven't had any issues so far. So hopefully, um, you know, new updates keep rolling out for those cameras. Everyone really appreciates those, but I'm really glad that they fixed the stability issues that were going on with Blackmagic RAW. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play the video that, the short that we made, and hopefully you guys like it. If you haven't had a chance yet, please like, subscribe. Um, it really means a lot. Just wanna take a second to say that I really appreciate the support that we've had for the channel so far, and it means a lot. I had no idea how people were gonna react to someone so new to YouTube, kind of making their own channel, and um, the support's been awesome. Like, like I said, I really appreciate it. So leave a comment below if you have any questions about anything. I always try to get back to everyone if I get an opportunity. And we'll see you next week. Today is the Thursday before my final essay is due in the last English class of my entire college career. This essay is literally everything for my final grade and ultimately my future. I have come to find motivation and inspiration for the best paper that my professor has ever seen. I have driven an hour and a half from my hometown to sit in this very spot right here. And now that I'm here, 
there's literally not a soul, not a person, and not a thing that will ever hold me back from writing the ultimate paper. And now that I can, oh my god, my laptop, it's dead, I don't have a charger, what am I going to do? <sighs> hey Siri, how do I fake my own death? Check it out.